Okay, Luxury Fred here, and uh, a lot of people make comments and ask questions about our dog Hans. Have this big, beautiful German Shepherd, and uh, decided to try a bit of uh, raw feeding with him uh, for the first time. And uh, I'll show you what we started with here. Started with this, which is a beef knuckle soup bone for 424 at Ralph's. And uh, he is going to town. You know, ripping it apart. It's got tendons and meat and stuff like that on there in addition to the bone. So he's going to town getting all that stuff out of there. And uh, normally we feed him uh, this. Imes large breed. And we kind of supplement it with this cold uh, refrigerated fresh pet stuff. Because uh, he really seems to like that. So we kind of, that's what we do now. And we thought we'd supplement that with some uh, raw food so we got him the uh, beef knuckles and then I also bought him this which is a fresh young chicken a whole chicken and uh, we'll feed him parts of that over the next couple days uh, probably not the whole thing at once even though he has eaten a whole rotisserie chicken uh, when we were out a cooked one which isn't good for dogs Okay, so just thought I'd make that uh, little video here with Hans as he's chomping away on his uh, beef knuckle there, really enjoying it, and uh, start to make some more videos with Hans and um, create his own channel here on YouTube because I think he's uh, an interesting doggy to watch. Right, Hans? Okay, so Hans is ready for some more raw food, as you can see, he's very excited, you don't know what to do, yeah, maybe if you sit you'll get some food, right Hans? Okay, so now uh, we're going to go with some chicken, so in the meantime he did have a meal of the Imes uh, large breed and that uh, wet food that uh, we use uh, maybe on maybe a four to one ratio, four being the uh, dry food and one being uh, this uh, fresh pet uh, that we give him a little bit of uh, with the Imes. So now uh, we gave him the beef bone and actually let me show you uh, real quickly the before and after for the beef bone. So this is what we started with. Uh, again, uh, beef knuckle uh, bone, which is um, just a raw uh, beef knuckle there. So that's what it started as. And then after he worked on it for about, uh, after he worked on it for about uh, two or three hours pretty consistently, he got it down to this, and then we took it away from him. Um, so it had all this uh, cartilage and, and meat on it, as well as marrow, and he ripped all of the meat off of it, and then really chewed into the marrow there. And these are kind of sharp little pieces, uh, so we didn't want him to eat the whole thing, and then he was starting to chew on the edge of the bone, and I'm still doing research as to whether it's okay to just let him have that and chew, down, chew it down as far as possible. Um, if you know the answer to that, please leave me a comment uh, under the video and tell me what you think. If I should just leave this with him and let him go to town on it, or whether it's not good and I should take it away from him when it gets worn down like this. I'm not sure about that. So again, that's the before and after. So now we will give him um, some chicken. So this is a fresh, well, from Ralph's grocery store for $8.76. Uh, cage free, whole young chicken. Um, not organic, uh, but fresh and natural. So we'll just see if he likes it. So we'll start with a uh, drumstick here, just raw. This has been in the refrigerator and uh, see if he likes it. Yeah, that's for you to eat, Hans. I haven't given him raw chicken before. He has eaten cooked chicken. He once took a whole uh, 
rotisserie cooked chicken off of the counter and ate the whole thing bones and all which I've learned is very dangerous that uh, any kind of cooked bones are dangerous but chicken raw chicken bones he's supposed to be able to eat yeah you don't like it Hans you like it yeah oh yeah you you like it So just kind of getting used to it, whether he licks it or whether he, you know, figures out that he's supposed to chew it up. And then, uh, good thing we have hardwood floors. Okay, so it seems to be working on it there. Okay, so I wanted to post an update after a couple days of trying the uh, raw food with Hans. Um, so the day after he had the couple pieces of chicken and the beef knuckle, the next day he had excuse me, but really, really bad diarrhea, um, you know, all day long, and that lasted for about a day. Uh, he was going to the bathroom, but it was all really bad diarrhea, which made me feel bad because I know he feels uncomfortable. Um, so I didn't really give him any more raw stuff. Uh, I gave him a lot of his regular imes and that uh, wet food, um, you know, maybe four to one ratio with that stuff based on the raw, compared to the raw stuff. And today, two days later, he had uh, a solid uh, poopy this morning, followed by some more diarrhea. Uh, he has eaten two or three meals of his imes and the wet food, and uh, I just gave him a chicken wing uh, which was the last of that chicken I cooked the rest of it and ate it myself uh, so I gave him a chicken wing just now and I did notice uh, again excuse the graphic details but when he pooped uh, this morning when I put it in the poopy bag there was a hard chunk of bone in there uh, very small, maybe the size of my pinky fingernail, something like that, but a jagged piece of bone. So that uh, concerned me. Um, and that's it. Just wanted to do that kind of follow-up uh, as part of this little endeavor into feeding Hans a more natural, raw diet. And please comment below whether you have any... Uh, experience with this or uh, suggestions, things like that. Thank you.